we're seeing how powerful is the grab roll d15. It's going to go through some off-roading, some towing, some payloads. We're putting this thing to the test to see if the 4.1 liter straight six beam and g drive pickup truck has what it takes to get the job done we're driving off here and i just noticed one thing well first of all it's manual so i stalled this thing thinking it was automatic um i mean it seems to have okay power you know uh, it's not four-wheel drive or anything so i don't know how it's going to do with the off-road portion but it seems like it has pretty good power about the power. Um, I don't know when it comes to towing or putting payload in the back of it. I don't know how it's going to do then, but on these mountains it seems like it's doing good, so I can't complain. Alright, so one test I have to do is can this truck and can I do a burnout in it? And this is manual, and I'm trying to do a burnout with one, so. I mean, hey, that's all right. Ah, that's what I'm looking for. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Wait, can I keep my foot that same thing? Shift. Oh, darn it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that again, so we'll try. Hey, all right, all right, so Grandpa's work truck can do a burnout. Can't do a second gear one, but all right, so that's impressive. This thing's starting to get a little hot down there. Let's look at the gauges inside and see how hot it is. Oh yeah, it's getting hot. It's blowing smoke in us. It's blowing smoke into the cab, right? Front brakes are fading. Okay, so you know what? We'll actually go until we blow this up. So this thing, uh, tires haven't popped yet, so it's still doing good. We have hissing rings damaged. Um, hey man, it's still uh, oil overheating. Uh, head gasket damaged. All right, and um, just to make sure that it's not, you know, I'm just, oh, okay, it's not blown up. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get out. Alright, so the brakes in the back are, um, since it's doing a one, one wheel spinning, uh, this brake is like toasted over here. Um, it is puffing a bunch of white smoke, which isn't normal unless it's cold out. And did it just die? Like, did it actually just cut off and just die? And I wasn't even in there redlining it. Um, but yeah, we're in Florida, so it shouldn't be puffing smoke. Um, must be, must be overheating. I'm thinking it's overheating. I don't know. We'll try to... Oh, the engine. No. Oh, so this thing has a very hard time doing... It has a very hard time lasting really long in burnouts. Um, and it also has a very hard time to do burnouts since it is a manual, which that doesn't mean I can hate on this thing any. But um, let's go to the next part of our course. Our next obstacle. Uh, okay, so our next obstacle, we have pickup truck versus side-by-side -side and off-roading. We're going to see how far we can take the pickup truck, the two-wheel drive, stock, manual transmission, pickup truck and we're gonna see how long we're gonna see how far we can take the four-wheel drive differential locking I think can-am side-by-side I think that's what it's supposed to be representing I don't know so we're gonna do a side-by-side -side versus pickup truck I'm gonna start the pickup truck first and I'm gonna do everything in my power to keep this thing going so we're gonna see how long this pickup truck can go and I'm just telling you right now um, side by side is probably going to win in this part. Alright, 
guys, we're going. It's just a little muddy, you know, nothing much. We're just cooking up some stuff. We gotta, gotta actually get in the interior and focus a little bit. We're gonna keep our revs a little high. Come on, don't don't stop on me right here. Come on, no, not already. Ooh. All right, so we just we just gotta speed it. We just gotta speed. We need speed. So, I'm gonna try to hit this with as much speed as I can get. Come on, get up here, get up here, come on. All right, honestly, we're just gonna keep speed going. I'm gonna try to stay on the road. Okay, so I think we're at rock, a little bit of rock crawling here. So we're actually gonna go slow for this part. Okay, so the truck seems like it's doing pretty good. Mm. All right, I don't know about this part. Hopefully we don't bottom out or something. Okay, so it seems we went through that pretty, pretty good. All right, so here's where the troubles are, or the river. Uh, I think we should just launch this. Oh, no. Oh, it's... Pose. It's. Can we try to back out? No, there's nothing. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Shift through all the gears. No. It, reverse. No. Forward. No. No. So this is as far as the pickup truck went? Wow. All right. Time for the side-by-side. -side. All right. So I have faith in this thing. Um, I have it in low, differentials locked. Everything's in the best off-road off -road positions, and everything's tweaked how it should be to be in off-roading. So actually, um, let me do a little bit of outside view. I might switch to the inside view, but I, I have... Like, there's no way this thing shouldn't be able to do this. Like, this is what the side-by-side -side is made for. I have... I have pretty good faith in this thing. I still don't know about that river. I... I don't know. I don't know if anything has ever gotten across that river. So we already made it here um, in way quicker time than the pickup truck. Um, what really slows down is getting over that one first little hill, but I'm going interior mode for this. Oh, okay, so it's so it seems like it struggled just a little bit. That was still nothing. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep going. Do some interior view. No, I can really barely see anything. Ah, uh, let's go to the right. No, I've never explored this map before. So well, here's a sinkhole. Let's see if we can go kind of fast with the side by side. Should be able to. Very sporty machine. Oh, and see, we're back out to the road. So, I think this thing definitely won. Um, I think the pickup truck would actually do good. Just other than crossing the river, I don't think it's very good. So, off-roading, not the best. But, we're going to see how it can do with payload. All right, so we have 1,400 kilograms, or I think it was, I think Google said 3,800 pounds in the back for payload with this, and yes, this is a 1,500 pickup truck. So, um, standard springs, st just totally standard truck. Um, squat, I mean, it seems it's squatting. I mean, it, it could squat more if it wanted to, but that's probably, I mean, it's probably, you, you're definitely pushing it. Probably a thousand pounds more than what you probably should put in this thing. Really, probably two thousand pounds. Um, but yeah, three thousand pounds in this thing. That's it's impressive. If it's impressive if this thing will even drive. So we'll we'll see. It actually seems like it has no struggle at all. 
seems like it's driving perfectly fine. The manual is definitely helping it out. I don't know how an automatic would do. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna enjoy a cruise of 3,000 pounds in the back of this truck. Ain't scary, right? Ain't scary at all. Acceleration actually seems really good. Um, I kind of feel like I have n nothing for the front tires. Like, I kind of feel like this, this truck could just kind of take a mind of its own and go wherever it wanted to. But, I mean, it seems seems pretty good. I got two hands on the wheel right now. I'm really focused, so. I'm climbing up this hill. I mean, it definitely has a lack of power, but, man, this thing in second gear, I'm glad I didn't put it in third gear because it probably wouldn't have made it up this. Yeah, it's second gear, 40 miles per hour. I mean, we're definitely revving it out. I'm surprised if it doesn't overheat, but yeah, it's going up this mountain. No problem. That's actually impressive. We're riding at 3,000 RPM, so really probably won't overheat this thing at all. And, man, we're just climbing up this hill. I do have full throttle, so it is pedal to the metal. But this thing seems like it has no problem. We get up top of this hill. We're going to go down the hill. Okay, so a little bit of braking right here. I'm going to actually shift this into first gear. All right, so we're at the top of the hill. All right, so the one thing I'm going to be looking for is I'm going to be looking for if this thing can stop good on the way down the hill. I'm not going to do a brake test down the hill. I don't want to mess up any performance on this at all. I'm going to see if if we have to stop and come to a you know corner or something. Got to slow down regularly. I'm going to see if the weight of it's in the back pushes us. Is it gravity? Because yes, gravity is a thing. Um, yeah. Had no problem going up. I, I would give it 10 stars, man. I guess, I don't know, I guess we're going to go off a, a rating system. Um, this thing, so far, in the middle of the test, I would say um, driving, kick, like just regularly driving, um, there's some faster stuff, but I would probably give this an 8. An 8 might seem a little steep, but yes, I would give it an 8. Off-road... I mean, really, it did pretty good until it got to that river. I would give it a five. Um, payload, so far, payload, I would honestly give this thing a nine, but I'm afraid that's probably going to change by the time we get down to the bottom of the hill. Hopefully we don't crash. I hope, yeah, just... Hopefully we don't crash. Knock on wood that's in the back of our pickup truck. Alright, so we're just going. You know, use everything I can against me, but I'm not going to sit there at 25 miles per hour in first gear. I'm not going to be bogged down by first gear, so I'm not in a rush or anything. I'm just, you know, kind of an unexperienced driver. Downhill driving. So we got it in second gear like we did last time. We're going to try to keep doing at least 40 miles per hour if we can. Just gotta get on there. You gotta get there on time. So, I felt the back sliding out just a little bit. And we're slowing down a little bit for this corner, but there's no traffic. So, okay. Okay, so we slid out real cool. You know, that was really cool. Okay, I have to regain this back. Alright, so, we slowed out a little bit there. We did a little bit of drifting. You know, it's always fun. A little scary. Um, seem like we're doing fine going down this hill. I do feel like it is pushing me a little bit because I am going pretty fast. Um, it seems like you brake, you know, kind of relatively lightly and we'll accelerate a little bit here because we're on level ground now. Seems like that thing did no problem with that hill. All right, so... Everybody drives at 55 miles per hour, right? Or, hold on, I shouldn't say that. You're supposed to drive 55 miles per hour 
know, maybe 75 on the highway or something, but just a regular road like this. I mean, honestly, I don't know if I'd drive 55, but, you know, it's just the speed limit that everybody's kind of used to. So, driving 55, if I can get there without crashing, we're going to slam on our brakes. The deer's going to run out in front of us, and we're going to see what's... We're just going to see what's going to happen. Can we brake fast enough where we won't hit the deer? I don't know. Hopefully. So, 50... I'm gonna shift after I get around this corner here. So I get a kind of a straightaway. Ooh. Ooh, okay, all right. I planned that. I planned that. All right, so first gear doesn't seem like it has a problem. Second gear, I mean, a little sluggish, but doesn't seem like it has a problem. Um. Alright, so I've got it in third gear. Actually, I'm going to shift back just real quick. And I'm going to shift. Okay. Doing, fi doing 55. Semi brakes. Oh, there's a deer! I'm not holding the clutch. So, honestly, we would have hit the deer, and I probably would have been dead. Um, but good, pretty good chances. That if the deer was just running and kind of seen it, you know, running across the road, good chances that you're going actually braking slow enough that you probably won't hit it. But if it's standing in the middle of the road and it did not move, you hit it. So the braking with the payload, that's probably the only thing bad about this. So the payload rating, I. give it a seven that might be a little steep but it is a work truck so we're rating i'm rating this out of 10 um and we did three things for rating and so far um we're at 20 out of 30 which is i mean that's still pretty good all right so we're at the next part um i don't know how much trailer weighs but the weight inside of the trailer We'll say it's 4,000 pounds. Um, so we're going to see... Combined, it's... We'll just we'll just throw 5,000 pounds out there. And I know it's probably a little light. Actually, we'll do 6,000 pounds. 6,000 pounds seems like the truck's maximum capacity that it can tow. And it seems like that's a good weight for what the trailer and the weight that the trailer has in it. Um, and we're going to see how well it goes up the mountain, down the mountain, and I guess an acceleration test, just to see if this truck can tow. Alright, so starting off was a little hard. I did kind of a little bit of a burnout there, but you know, still seems like it has no problem. Still has a fair amount of power. I'm curious if it will make it up this mountain because 1,400 kilograms in the back and then this is 2,100 kilograms in the trailer. But we also have the trailer's weight too and I don't know how much the trailer weighs. So I'm not sure. Uh, I can definitely tell it's more weight because it's second gear. It's definitely struggling a lot more but still seems like it has no problem. Um, okay, so we're drifting a little bit um all right so second gear is kind of failing on us Let's see once we drop under 2000 rpms i will shift down all right so in first gear it seems like it has no problem i'm gonna see get to about red line and see if we can see if we can shift and keep going mm, i don't know if I don't know if it's going to climb. We're coming up on kind of more level ground here. So, yes, it is starting to climb more. All right. So, it's doing really well. Let's do a little bit of a, not, not a breaking test, but I'm you know, just getting up here to the top of this mountain. I'm going to spin around and go back down. I'm going to see how this truck does. All right. So, hopefully, the, the weight of the trailer will not push us. So, 
gonna shift, and I guess that was synchronizer damage, even though it, but, uh, the game has a mind of its own sometimes. So, oh, we gotta gotta get the bosses, boss, bosses, uh, pallets. I think are in here. Boss needs his pallets, so we're we're going like 58. So this is definitely pushing us a little bit. We're breaking a little bit here. We're turning. Okay, drifted in the same spot. Drifted in the, oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. Boss is mad. Boss is mad. Um. Um. Yeah. Hello, boss. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. Yeah, just just come just come just come come to me. Just come to me and uh Yeah, just I, th I think I need a bigger truck if I'm gonna be towing. Yeah, just just come over to me. And um yeah, I'm like halfway up the mountain, so um you're uh, you might be happy. Alright, yeah, alright, alright. yeah, just just come here. You you'll see for yourself. Yeah, boss man. Um The truck lost it this truck completely lost around that corner. Um I don't know how the trailer just flipped over. Um and the truck didn't. Um Wow, that's um very interesting to look at. Um yeah, hey, if you need to replace the brakes on this uh this back wheel over here, uh r right now it's time to do it cuz it's off the ground. All right, uh boss man's really mad at me and he's chasing after me now. Um so we're going to see if this work truck um can get away from a big powered big truck, big V8. So um, yeah, boss man isn't happy. Seems like he's kind of far back there. Hopefully I don't crash. He seemed upset. Oh, he's catching me. Uh, uh oh. He's gonna, he's gonna lose. Oh! Oh! Right, that's fine. We can keep going. We can keep going. He's kind of wrecked too, so it's fine. Okay, we got this. We got this. Looks like he's stuck back there. Looks like he's stuck back there. All right, I think we can get away. I think we're good. So it's the weight on the trailer is about fifteen thousand pounds. I'm gonna say the trailer is probably like four thousand pounds. I think like eighteen thousand pounds sounds. I mean, the three thousand pounds in the bed of this thing was a lot. So I really feel like eighteen thousand pounds towing won't be anything for this truck. Hopefully we don't pop a wheelie, or hopefully this doesn't drag the ground. Um, so suspension? Nothing. Okay, we're gonna see if this thing can move. Oh. Okay, we got it moving. I think, yeah, I think once you get it moving, I think you're fine. You just gotta have to hold your foot on the clutch a little bit. We're starting to, starting to burn up the clutch a little bit. But hey, that's all right. So, like 18,000 pounds here. Um, the clutch is still overburning. Um, so that's, that's probably not good. But, you know. Um, yeah, okay. So this thing's definitely not towing it up to the top of the mountain. Alright, so never mind, this was 11,000 kilograms, which comes out to like 24,000 pounds. Um, so we were towing like 26,000 pounds, so it's impressive that the truck even moved. So now we're going to do 7,000 kilograms or the 15,000 pounds in hay bales. And we're going to see how well the truck pulls it up the mountain.
right, so squat, it's still squatting, but we still got about like two inches of ground clearance from the um, Congo trailer, so I think we're fine. Okay, so now this isn't even attempting to move at all. Oh, okay, oh, okay, all right. So it, it, start, it, moved, it started to move off way better than the other truck, or the other trailer, not the same truck, different trailer. It's late. <laughs> I'm, I'm filming this at like 10 o'clock at night, so <laughs> give me a break, guys. But this thing, um, I mean, it's doing it, but I think we should have had more of a head start. We'll try to try to use the clutch a little bit, help us. Oh, high clutch temperature. All right, so stopped, stopped about the same, same amount, same time. Okay, so uh, it's in first gear and we're trying to go forward, uh, but it's not allowing us. And we're gonna crash. And I should be holding my foot on the brake. All right. Um, I don't think it should be doing that. I'm gonna unhook from the trailer. I wonder what happens if you just try to drive with like a really high clutch temperature. Oh, just pretty much like nothing. I wonder if you have to like kind of ease into it or not. Like, transmission's like screwed. Alright. So, first gear. What about reverse? Oh. Okay, so. Might as well just throw it in neutral and try to back up. Oh, darn it! Oh! Oh. Darn, that sucks. Alright, so. Towing, I would give it a 5. Uh, definitely does better on payload. Um, so that's 25 and out of, so let's see, we had performance and driving, off-roading, payload, and towing out of 10. So that should be 40 and we have 25. So it did like a little better than fifty percent. It was like it was like fifty five percent rating. So overall, I mean it's it's a it's a good. It, it, I mean you it, it'd be a good vehicle you know for towing. Um, not when you're towing fourteen thousand pounds. It's not. But 6,000 pounds up this mountain did totally fine. You just might want to have to check your braking going down the mountain a little bit. And payload did absolutely great. Off-roading did pretty good. And driving was wonderful. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you guys like, subscribe to the bell, post notifications. Expect more Beeman G Drive videos coming probably one a week. Um, also, with something like Farming Simulator, uh, other video game once a week. Just because plans for the thing that we had, you know, really big thing for the tractor that we were doing this winter, uh, I don't even know if it's going to happen. It's the ground, of course. So, I don't know. We'll catch you guys next time. Wave bomb.